In this lesson, you'll learn about tree recursion and binary recursion. The example will be in Java, but you can apply this concept to other programming languages. Some quick facts. Tree recursion is when a recursive method simultaneously calls itself multiple times. There can be two, three, four, or more simultaneous calls. Binary recursion is tree recursion where it makes two calls at once. A well-known binary recursion algorithm that we're going to look at calculates the Fibonacci sequence. The first two digits of the Fibonacci sequence are 0 and 1. Later digits are calculated by adding the two previous digits. Let's take a look at the Fibonacci sequence. We start out with 0 and 1. Our third digit is the sum of the two previous digits, so 0 plus 1 equals 1, then 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5, and so on. This is a problem that's well made for recursion because we calculate our current value by adding the two previous values, which can also be calculated by adding their two previous values. Let's write some code to calculate the Fibonacci sequence recursively. First, we'll make a method that returns an int and takes in an int parameter called digit. The digit parameter will be what digit in the Fibonacci sequence we're looking for. In the body, we start by writing the base case. If we're looking for digit 1 or digit 2, we're simply going to return digit minus 1. In our recursive case, we're going to add the sum of the two digits before the current one. We'll call the same method twice, passing digit minus 1 and digit minus 2 to calculate the two previous digits. Here, we add a main method that's going to call fib and pass the argument 5, so it'll print out the fifth digit in the Fibonacci sequence. We'll trace it out by drawing a recursion tree. Recursion trees are a useful technique for visualizing and understanding the behavior of tree recursive algorithms, including binary recursion. We start with our first call to fib and pass the value 5. This is not the base case because digits is not equal to 1 or 2. We go to the recursive case and make two calls to the same method. We call fib digit minus 1, which is 4, and then digit minus 2, which is 3. You can see how the two calls branch off. I usually go down the left tree branch and then go back around and fill out anything I need to. We go to the fib4 node. 4 goes into the digit parameter. We see that it's not 1 or 2, so we're going to make a call to fib3 and then fib2. We go to the fib3 node. 3 is not equal to 1 or 2, so we make a call to fib2 and then fib1. Now we've hit two base cases. If we pass fib the value 2, it'll return 1. If we pass fib the value 1, it'll return 0. So now we can add up these two values and finish the fib3 node. Fib3 will return 1 plus 0, which is 1. Now we can go back to fib2. We already know what fib2 returns, because we can see it from this example. We don't have to look at the code. We can just say that fib2 will return 1. Next, we go back to fib4, which adds 1 plus 1 and returns 2. We also know that fib3 is always going to return 1, so we don't have to create the extra branches on this end of the tree. We just cross out this node and write in 1. And then to calculate fib5, we add 2 plus 1. A call to fib5 will return 3 because 3 is the fifth digit in the Fibonacci sequence. Depending on the problem you are tracing, you may not be able to simply fill in the other parts of the tree. You may have to draw out additional branches, but it's always valuable to see if there's ones that have already been calculated. Another important thing to remember is you're not always going to be adding the two calls together. You could be subtracting them, multiplying, dividing, or doing some other operation. Tree and binary recursion have practical applications beyond Fibonacci. For example, merge sort and binary search can use binary recursion. Tree recursion can be used to generate permutations, draw fractals, and solve mazes. By grasping the versatility of these concepts, you can apply them to a variety of programming challenges. To keep learning, click on the next video. Otherwise, check out the full playlist. See you soon.